Yo, hey guys! Welcome to the next episode of uh, Madden 2005 Eagles Franchise. I don't know if you guys really want to hear me ramble for very too long, so <laughs> that's a tendency that I have to break, is rambling for too long. So, anyway, let's just get right into it. We have the Super Bowl against the Raiders and the Panthers. Let's see who wins. And it's the Panthers! Winning 23-14, to 14. so we lost against the eventual Super Bowl champions. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now let's advance to the offseason. Looks like NFC beat AFC in the Pro Bowl. Welcome to the owner's box. This feature of franchise mode lets you become the owner of your favorite team. Sets prices of tickets, concessions, merchandise, and more. Hire the best coaching staff possible to improve your player progression. Renovate your stadium or work with your city to build a new one. Consult your board of advisors for team improvements. Good luck. They need to bring all of this back to Modern Madden. Year 2004 net income. And Harbaugh is still our special teams coordinator. Good. So no one's being signed off currently. Is that our prices? Can it be one below or at the highest at okay? So pretty much the one right before the up arrow. Advertising. 50k in television, 100k in billboards. Now this is what I do pretty much every time I do one of these old style franchises. I, I love the way it's laid out. I'm very familiar with it and it's detailed and customizable to the way I like it. Jerry Rice, he was still in the league in 2004? Oh, Rookie Williams got a career ending injury. That's why he's retiring. That C-A-R with the, with the, uh, the cross, he got a career ending injury. I wonder what, rookie scouting. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, no quarterbacks in the top 10. I mean, top 5. We got a defensive tackle, though. We got a running back by the name of Redmond. Randy Redmond from Penn State. Isn't that interesting? Kick return average, run power great, hands average. This is a little bit different than Madden 07 when I'm... Okay. And I don't get to see their pitchers. Or what their character thing looks like. Uh, Darnay Green. Arm strength amazing. Pass accuracy amazing. 21 balance quarterback. 6 foot 192. Uh, let's scout him I guess. And, uh, what else do we need? I mean, running back we're very young at. 25, 26, 25, and 24. So I really don't need Redmond. I don't really need fullback either. Wide receiver, I could argue that we do need. You know, Pinkston and Mitchell in this game compared to the other game are pretty highly rated. So maybe not, but we do have a 31 and a 28. So maybe drafting a wide receiver is definitely on the table. Uh, we really don't, I guess, need a tight end, but we could. Well, this guy's 33, so probably a backup tight end. Uh, defensive end is definitely something I should look at. So, so far, quarterback, wide receiver, tight end, and defensive end. And defensive tackle. We don't have any young defensive tackles. Linebacker, for sure. Outside linebacker, especially. Corner, we do have Brown and Shepard, but really that's, outside of that, that's it. Safety, safety, kicker, punter. Alright, I think I have an idea.
while we're at it, we have the 30th overall pick. McNabb to the Bengals. Okay. Okay, really? That go through? That went through. All right. <laughs> we have the first overall pick. All right, I'll take that. Okay, we also have Adams, Lumen, Nelson. I think we're probably going to go with green there, especially since his uh, arm looks amazing according to the scouts here. Who's this guy, Mac? Sam Mack, balanced defensive tackle. Interesting. All right, well... Look at wide receivers here. We don't know much about them right off the bat. So this is definitely something different. There's a six foot three guy here in the second or third round. Run power. Great kick return though. Good hands. Might be something. I'll put him on the scouting. How about you, Mark Jackson? Amazing kick return. Average run power, good hands. Okay, this guy might be better than this guy. I'll scout them both. Great hands. This guy's great hands, according to this. So I'll scout him. Tight end. Not a lot of tight ends. So second round guy. Pass blocking below average. Good hands. Above average. Above average. 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 Above average, below average, above average, good. So the only thing below average is his run blocking. And he's six foot seven, he's twenty three. It's really only gonna be a backup. This guy's six six. Anthony Lindsay is six seven though. I might go with him. Tackle, guard, don't need that. Defensive end, I do need. Ethan Swift, tackling above average. McCaffrey, great tackling. I don't know why that's the only thing they tell me. Great tackling. Above average. Average. Above average. I'm only looking at right ends. Then again, I could just move left ends over. So what about this score guy? Just says good. I'll put him on the scout thing anyway. What about white? Amazing tackling. We'll go with that. Defensive tackle. Does it just tell me tackling for these guys too? Yes, it does. This guy's amazing tackling. Great. There was another one here that said amazing. Is it Davis? No. Wait, no, it just said great. This guy said great. Duncan. Linebacker. Uh, I'm 
No, I don't think I, do, I don't think that's a good strategy to do that. Good and average. Good below average. Good average. Good average. Bad hands. Want to avoid bush. I think... Scout those guys. And leave my last scouting for the corner. There is a 6 foot 1 corner here. Mitchell. Terrible kick return. Below average tackling with average hands though. Brady Franks. <laughs> That's funny. 21 years old, 6 foot, average tackling, average hands, great quick kick return. I'll put him on. Fancy scouting combine. Take a look at my targets here. Alright. Amazing arm strength, amazing accuracy. 498 uh, 40 time with a shuttle of 402, 729 cone, 8 bench press interview above average. Very accurate, displaying proper placement and precision on his throws. Okay. Scout more of him. Sends his arms to wrap, secure, and drive the opponent back on his heels. Alright, I like the sound of that. Decent 40, good bench. Keep draft, uh, keep scouting him, I guess. Unless there's, is, is there anything else to even get? Not sure. Just to be sure, I'll, I'll scout some other guys too instead. Ooh, got some really fast corners here. 425. I'll get that 425 guy and uh, 438. Outside linebackers, this guy's pretty fast. Wait, I already scouted him. Bus is actually a 449. 444 for Albright. Got a linebacker. 458. 452. Defensive tackle. Uh, Russell and Lot. Defensive end of four or five five. He's fast. Four five six. He's fast. For their position. Centers don't really need. Tight ends is a good thing to get more on. He's pretty fast himself. Lewis. Anyone faster than a 471? 473. 468. And a 465. Anyone worth taking someone else off here? Got a 426 wide receiver. 
Now four two five. Uh, let's take Bennett and Wells off. Go for Howry and Burt. Okay. What do they say about this guy, Kennedy? John Kennedy. Poor tackler that needs to extend his arms more when wrapping up. Okay, doesn't really sound like a top five guy to me. Okay, so he, you do get more information if you scout him again. Very accurate, displaying proper praise man position on his throws. Displays great presence in the huddle. A true leader. Make sure you have a good training staff. You'll need it. Does that mean he's injury prone? Interesting. Start from the bottom here. What does this say about Burt? He never played a full season in college due to injuries. Oof. His hands are so bad that he'll never be mistaken for a receiver. <laughs> Harsh. Does not have natural hands. Solid hit and wrap tackler. All right. Very intelligent player who was responsible for calling defensive signals. I like that. We got Bush here. He shows very tight hips and marginal change of direction ability. That's pretty good. Average tackle breaking ability for a wide receiver not a big deal I mean can be a big deal hit and wrap tackler who stays low in his pads okay stalks linebackers aggressively at the second level so okay he's a good blocker Technique tackler who moves forward with fervor to close on the quarterback. I do like the sound of that. Solid receiver has room for improvement. Oh, don't doesn't everybody? Needs to be monitored as he is just mar uh, just a marginal worker in the weight room. Consistent wrap-up drag-down tackler. Average tackler that won't scare any offensive tackles. Eh. He'll break tackles as well as 90% of other NFL tight ends. That sounds good. The least of the concerns about him is injuries. Okay. I want to know more then. McCaffrey. He'll be injured as much as any other DE. Well, okay. How about Mitchell? Blessed with exceptional speed. Uh, okay. Tough, durable athlete. That one, okay. Want to know more about both of these guys? Has leaping ability to compete with the receiver going up for the ball. I want to know more about that. All right, green. <laughs> he reminds me a lot of Tom Brady in terms of pure speed. <laughs> that's good. That's that's more of a burn, if anything. Creative quarterback who has impressive and professional skills. 
Make sure you have a good training staff. You'll need it. All right. Well, I do have a good training staff. All right. I don't want to be going over a lot of these again. I'm really just more concerned about the quarterback. Because that is who we're taking with the first overall pick. We are taking Green. Funny, his name is Green. And he's going to the Eagles, who is, you know, Team Green. All right, our 30th overall pick here. Let's see, we got uh, Culberson. He's a tough, durable athlete that will never be injured. Has good lateral agility that allows him to overcome mistakes. Does a nice job delivering a crunching jolt to tight ends in the short area. Sounds like a linebacker I want. As well as Mitchell here. Shouldn't have too many problems with injuries. Worse to maintain his technique. Takes proper steps when diagnosing reads. All right. Sounds like I'm going to be taking uh, Culberson. And with my second round first pick, I'll be taking Mitchell. All right, second round, 30th pick. Lindsey is here. He is available. We do need a backup tight end because our backup, current backup tight end is old. And according to his report, break tackles as well as 90% of the other tight ends can accelerate after the catch fairly well. A student of the game and son of a high school football coach. All good qualities. This is pass blocking is below average, which is fine because he... Hopefully, he won't be pass blocking very much. We'll take him. All right, our third round, 30th pick. We have Franks, Waters, and Seymour. Does not have the acceleration to catch the receivers on deep routes. Shows good timing going for the ball, using his leaping ability well. Eh. Waters has an arrogant personality that rubs a few the wrong way. Okay. Very intelligent player. Responsible con defensive signals. Effective tackler with the ability to wrap and secure the ball carry. Has enough speed as at middle linebacker to quickly recover when beaten. I'll be taking Seymour. Fourth round first pick. Uh... Probably Duncan has excellent uh, has excellent rip skills to fight through the double team. Lacks the quickness to pass her consistently. Okay. I think I'll be taking Duncan. Because a lot of my defensive tackles are old, so we need a young guy in there. Uh, Howry. It's not natural hands. Okay, these are guys I only, like, scouted once. Never played a full season due to injuries. Um, 
It's the only thing I have on him is the fact that he has bad hands, but he's a linebacker. So I'm not really expecting him to get interceptions. More want guys, well, he's a coverage linebacker. He's not really a pass rusher guy. But he is fast, and he has average tackling. Maybe he can develop into something. I'll... He has really good speed for a linebacker. I'm going to take him. Xavier Mann, <laughs> quarterback. Uh... Let's just take Bert. Can't really trade for next year picks. That is a downside. So we'll just take whoever's the best available. That's not a quarterback. Hey, Brandon. Calvin Brandon. We'll take him for the memes. Baker. Fred Baker. That's got Brock Harris. Uh, let's take Ike Madison. Let's take him. Now let's sign these guys. Let's take Darnay Green. I forgot these older ones. They don't really show the picture to them. It's not really a big deal, but I would like to know what they look like. Not really a big deal, though. This guy is a 75 overall. Seventy-five overall with eighty throw power, eighty-nine accuracy with seventy-two awareness. That's really not bad. Sixty-nine agility, nice. Fifty-three speed. Uh, seventy-four acceleration. So he does have acceleration, but he doesn't have speed. Sixty-six injury, seventy toughness. All right. I can see why he wasn't a top five guy. And Dennis Coberson is a 70 overall. 64 tackling, 79 awareness, 78 speed, 74 agility, 82 acceleration, 59 catching, uh, 84 injury, 86 toughness.
Mitchell here is actually better at a 72. 64 awareness, 98 speed. Let's go. 86 acceleration, 85 agility, 54 catching, 51 tackling. All that can be improved. 84 jumping, 49 strength, 27 kick return, 89 injury, 60 toughness. Tight end is a 71 overall. 75 catching, 60 uh, run block, 79 awareness, 52 speed, 59 strength, 62 acceleration, 68 agility, 66 break tackle, 55 pass block, 1 kicker turn, 82 injury, 63 toughness. Let's go with this middle linebacker. CT3 overall. Okay. Apparently that was the reach. But he has 72 tackle, 81 awareness, 60 strength, 55 agility, 52 acceleration, 74 speed. Fifty-eight injury, eighty-three toughness. Not great. What was he? He was a third round thirtieth pick. Okay. I mean, still not great. Look, let's just hope Duncan is a little bit better than that. Oh, the roster is full. Okay, so the roster is full. Well, uh, let's release Koi Detmer. And released Billy McMullen. And seventy one overall, thirty one years old. It's released. Hollis Thomas here. Twenty four years old, fifty nine overall. C B thirty one. I don't know why they do this, but let's just release him. Now let's have a look at him. Sixty-four overall. Forty-six speed. Ninety-one strength. It's a lot of strength. 52 injury, 88 toughness. 
not great on that, but he's very powerful. I mean, you can't teach power, so maybe we could teach the other things. Albright is a 56 overall, so he sucks. 85 speed, though. Yeah, I don't see Albright really hitting the field anytime soon. Let's take a look at Burt now. He's a 53 overall. 98 speed, though. Holy crap. 83 uh, agility, I think that was. Seventy eight kick return. So he could definitely be a designated kick returner. 36 injury is horrendous, though. But who knows? Maybe he might improve on that. He's only 21. I mean, he was like... What? A fifth round pick? I mean... It's still not terrible. This quarterback is a 56 overall. 59 speed. 70 awareness. 95 injury. So he's, he's going to be like an Eli Manning. 73 throw power, 60 accuracy. Right, I'm not expecting him to hit the field at all. What about Ike Madison here? Roster is full. Again. I mean... Is there anyone else I can potentially cut? These guys here is because of kicker turn. No, so why is he here? Let's got this fourth running back. I'm definitely way more than willing to give linebackers a shot. Because you never know when you find a diamond in a rough. You really don't. Forty nine overall. Alright, so he's not a diamond, but he has seventy six speed. Seventy nine agility. Fifty nine injury, seventy three toughness. Maybe it'll be a good special teams. I'm always optimistic until they prove me otherwise. Right, but I like the quarterback. I do. I like the quarterback. Darn A. Green. Where's number 11, too? Interesting. Hope he's better than the other number 11 that we had. Let me know, let me know what you guys think about this draft and this offseason in general. I don't really uh, go for free agents all that much in these things. You don't know, as soon as I say that, there's Ray fucking Lewis, the cover guy. But yeah, I don't really go for free agents. Unless I see like a an overpowered rookie here somewhere, which is not likely to happen. What's that? 
Brandon Stokely. Interesting. Uh... Let's advance. Okay, free agent period has ended. He's staying with the Ravens. Smoot is going to the Jaguars. Sims to the Vikings. Polly to the Rams. Dixon to the Patriots. Riley to the Raiders. Collins to the Bucks. McClure to the Rams. Joe Johnson to the Ravens. Anyone interesting to notice? Hall, Hall, Jordan. Ship to the Bucks. Um, no names I'm really, like, remembering. Jerome Bettis to the Colts. Was he, like, the, the train from Pittsburgh? We order our death charts. Green is definitely going to be our starter. Despite him being our slowest in speed. But yet, uh, highest in acceleration and awareness. Second highest in agility, which is very interesting. Highest in carrying. Lowest in break tackle. Middle in throw power. Highest in throw accuracy, though. Uh, definitely lowest in injury. And highest in toughness. So, he's a very up and down quarterback, this guy. Burt really the only wide receiver I picked? Ah, oh, I thought I picked the other guy. I thought I picked someone else. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops indeed. Oh yeah, ty uh, Lindsay was the... yeah. Wait, can I play Lindsay as that other t uh, wide receiver? Pretty sure I can. He's a 54 though, but he's better than Burt. So I'll do that. I didn't get a rookie defensive end, did I? I don't think so. No. I got a rookie defensive tackle, though, but he's only a 64. Linebackers. Culberson. Middle linebacker. Seymour. He can, Seymour can learn under Trotter. Sure, why not? Of course, we have Albright here. Reese is a 72. If I look at the other guy, Culberson, for some reason, he's only a 66 right outside. Interesting. Oh, Mitchell was the corner. Name Mitchell and I. Yeah. <laughs> oops. Just constant, just oops. Oopses. Kicker Turner, and we do have uh, Shepard, then Westbrook, then Brook. I mean, West, Westbrook and Burt. Sorry. Uh, well, this is a specialty. Is this kick returning? So. Let's put Burt as the kick returner. I mean, he's gonna just going to be injured anyway. So why not give him the play time while he's healthy? That's my uh, philosophy, I guess. And we are good. Start new season.
Now, before we end this, I think the only way I can check out what this guy looks like is if I go to Edit Player. Things have been great. I'm proud to be part of the Eagles. Well, let's just see what you look like. Okay. I can't, apparently I can't see him without his helmet on. That is a downside to this. <laughs> I might look into getting Madden 07, because that is my favorite Madden. I they mentioned he was a natural leader or a good leader, so I'll name him the team captain. As well as Terrell Owens. And of course we gotta have Brian Dawkins as the team captain. One hundred percent. And I think you can only have three. Yeah, you can only have three. Let's take a look at this corner. All right. There's really not much more to say about that. And yeah, I can, all I can do is just rotate it. I, I can't see him without his helmet. The only way in these older man is to see them without their helmets is if their helmets get knocked off. All I can know is what hairstyle they have and what color the hairstyle is. Yeah, what they look like is not important. It's just a curiosity thing. I mean, I could have been completely fine with whatever they looked like. Just if they looked ugly, I just thought it would be hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, this is our future. Darn A green. And if you guys want to see like any other Maddens, like Madden 07 for the PS2, please let me know. I actually would love to play that. And, uh... We'll probably play a few more seasons of this. And then probably move on to maybe 07 if I can get my hands on it. I definitely have Madden 08. The only problem with that is when you put it on all Madden, you have that quarterback cone vision thing that's mandatory. And it's kind of a pain in the ass if you ask me. But uh, I'll definitely be interested in getting Madden 07 as well. And... This Madden's great. The only downsides I have to this so far is that I can't turn off the radio show. And the reason why that's a thing is because, well, I don't want to talk over it while I'm trying to talk to you guys. So I have to literally mute the gameplay to be able to do that. And put my computer at, not my, not my computer, my TV at superbly low so my mic doesn't catch it. And, uh, of course, the uh, lack of seeing what the uh, creative players look like. Other than that, the sc I like the scouting system. I like everything about this. So, I have no problem going through another season as this or two. I really don't. I don't have a problem with it. But I th definitely think Madden 07 is most likely my favorite one. Especially the, especially the PC version. I have the PC version. The only thing is it's difficult to uh, record it. Unless I get set up a second monitor. And I can do that, but it's just a little bit of a hassle, you know. But yeah, if you like this, please leave a like. Comment below. Tell me that you're enjoying this. And share. Sharing and getting more people to view my content would be, may, make me superbly happy. So please do that if you enjoy this content. And if you made it this far into the video, comment... Green 11, if you made it this far. That way I know who's made it this far. <laughs> I'll see you all guys. I'll see all you guys. My English is terrible. 
next week. Goodbye.